Tip top, hello hip hop. This your man Raynard, dude. You tuning in to DIRadioCast.com. Believe that, shouty? Say word. Hey, Why you keep giving your music away for free? How you supposed to get money? We are everything that we doing right now. No trend sets us or locks us down. Unstoppable sound. Palms bloody and open for you to see God's breath quailing. Do you believe? The scene before, but let's look at a dynamic that's not even being tapped. Number one, there are 105 historically black colleges and universities in the United States. How many of them have auditoriums? Every one of them. So where's where we go, Dean? We go right to it and say, guess what? The HBCU should be having their own distribution network. So that when television and film producers who can't get their product distributed, you now go to that network. And for I will work with the School of Business on that. I know the bronze lens. The Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce. And today we're here with, what's your name, sir? John Christmas. John Christmas. Woo, <laughs> what a name. Um, what do you do? I'm an entertainment and sports attorney, and I serve as the chairman of the Biofuels Racing Alliance and a proud member of the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce. The Biofuel. Racing Alliance. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Like you cannot walk away from a statement like that. Well, the Biofuels Racing Alliance is an alternative fuels racing organization that showcases the power and performance capabilities of automobiles, trucks, and motorcycles that use alternative fuels. So it promotes the production, the usage and consumption of alternative fuels from waste resources. And we're actually here at Clark Atlanta University and the Biofuels Racing Alliance is one of the industrial partners of the Atlanta University Center Sustainable Campus and Community Initiative, which of course our role in this particular point of the initiative is to take used household cooking oil and turn it into a renewable fuel called biodiesel that can be utilized by emergency vehicles in the event of a natural disaster or weather emergency. Wow. You know, when we think of green cars, mm -hmm. we think of the Prius and the smart car. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, some of the things that, you know, that people think when they think green, it's like, I think people are getting a very small and myopic view, you know, of what green is. Uh, what we call, what people may describe as green, we call sensibility. And you've heard people talk about sustainability, but this is just plain old good sense. Mm -hmm. None of this is new. Dr. George Washington Carver, of course, more than 100 years ago, took Rudolf Diesel, the German inventor who invented the diesel engine, and improved and showed that there were other uses and other feedstock that could be used to power the diesel engine. So all we're doing is taking a problem that's in Atlanta that's pervasive, such as used cooking oil being poured down the drains by you know homeowners, which is clogging the arteries of the water and sewer system in the city of Atlanta. We're taking it, instead of it going down the drain, we're doing a pollution prevention program and utilizing that same cooking oil to be able to produce a renewable fuel known as biodiesel, which can have a bunch of uses. So what it does, it makes the university solutionary, you know, in its work in the community. And that's some of the great work that's going on at CAU. And the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce has been the glue in making all this type of, type of thing happen. Now, that seems to be the cool job, but your other job, oh gosh, music, entertainment, and sports, ew. Well, Tell me a little bit. <laughs> well, well, music, entertainment, and sports is, you know, I've been an entertainment and sports attorney for more than 15 years, you know, now, and one of the things that, you know, we talk about trade and commerce, and part of today's discussion was about, you know, commerce, international commerce, you know, interactive media, new media, and there's a bunch of business going on between Atlanta and Rio de Janeiro, Atlanta and Rio are sister cities already. Of course, there's a long track record of business going on between the state of Georgia and the country of Brazil. So all we're doing is expanding upon those existing, you know, trade relations and business transactions uh, that, of course, create more opportunities for folks like who are here today. Now, one of my biggest things is um, digital literacy. Mm -hmm. How do people of African-American descent or minorities, how do they leverage their participation in digital media to actually benefit them? Well, I mean, in, uh, what we're actually doing right now, the ability to be able to take a mobile device and record and then be able to then broadcast and use that as a stem to actually provide for the broadcast of a recording. I mean, that's powerful within itself. People blog, people tweet all day long, people shoot emails, and the ability to create commerce out of it. Commerce is already happening, it's just people are not deriving the benefits that they could be deriving benefits from. So one of the things that we're also orchestrating 
is English as a foreign language or English as a second language or Portuguese as a second language or foreign language to be taught because one of the biggest barriers, you know, which people think is a barrier, we think of it as opportunity. So the opportunity between Brazil and, and, and Georgia and the United States in general, of course, is language exchange. So one of the things that, act, that could actually be done, of course, through this particular process, learning another language. So for those out there who may want to know how to say hello, you know, in, in Portuguese or good day in Portuguese, in, in the United States we'd say good day. In Brazil we'd say bom dia. If it's good afternoon, the way it really is right now, instead of saying good afternoon, you say boa tarde, like that. If it's nighttime, you'd say boa noite, like that. And if you say thank you for this great time and interviewing with you today, you'd say obrigado. If you wanted to say thank you very much, muito obrigado. So that's what it's all about today. There we go. You guys got a free Portuguese lesson, courtesy of the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce and DIRadioCast.com. Once again, Mr. Christmas, tell us um, how people can contact you, what it is that you do, and all of your social contacts as well. Well, the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce is where we spend our time with in Atlanta. So reaching and joining the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce is the way folks can contact us. And of course, the Atlanta Metropolitan Black Chamber of Commerce is intricately involved in the Atlanta University Center Sustainable Campus and Community Initiative. So that's where it's all about. And if folks want to see some of the activities that we do, you can, of course, go to biofuelsracing.com. That's www.biofuels, plural, racing.com. There we go. Once again, this is Africa Allah, DIRadioCast.com, and we're at Access Granted. Tip top. Hello, hip hop. This your man, Raynard, dude. You tuning in to DIRadioCast.com. Believe that, show it. Say word. Why you keep giving your music away for free? How you supposed to get money? We are everything that we doing right now. What trend sets us or locks us down? 